Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Guys, this is certainly with learningconstruction.org, and I would like to talk about this new type of uh, faucet, the Delta faucet. Uh, this is a really neat feature because instead of having a um, sensor on the front like they used to have back in the day, these uh, sensors actually are the faucet itself. They have a capacitor or a capacitive system sensor in them, and what happens is they can sense the disturbance on the field around them. So the beauty of this sensor here is, as you can see in this part, is you don't have to be in the front, you know, you know like the, the, old, the old ones where you have to constantly have to be touching them. The beauty of this sensor, this sensor system is that you just have to be close to it, as you can see over here, it's very sensitive. The other thing that you can do is your hands could be really dirty and just wash them up like this, or they could be activated just by touch. So, as you can see on this one, this one is a pretty sensitive one, but you can turn it on and off by just clicking it on the switch. So, now on the installation part of this one, uh, it can get really tricky though, because it has to be, um, it has to be calibrated in installation. If you don't calibrate it right, what happens is this, this battle is, they will start turning on and off by themselves or if a bird flies by, they'll turn on, or they just won't turn on at all. So, what I want to show you is how the basic installation of this guy is, um, and I'm going to take you to the bottom part of this. Okay, so here we are. This is the bottom part of the sink. <clears throat> um, and as you can see, it has the delta controller over here with the uh, solenoid. It's important to know that this units only have a solenoid for one water line. So keep that in mind when you order this type of faucet because it only controls one water line. So it's either hot or cold. You have to buy a separate item if you want to control uh, hot and water. For example, you need to buy a mixing valve. So like I was saying, <clears throat> this is the solenoid. This is the solenoid. And this one right here is the sensor. I don't know if you notice right now, the faucet turned on by itself. You notice how the sensor wire is away from the electrical wires. This is because the unit that we installed over here is a hard wire unit, so it really has 120 volts, which the 120 volts will go to this transformer line. Once you have the transformer line, it'll go inside of the control box into the power line, and the control will have one more sensor, which is this guy over here, that goes to the faucet. Now, the only reason why I say it's important to keep them separated is if you were using a battery operated faucet, you shouldn't have any problem, but they seem to have an issue when it comes to um, interference with 120 volts if you go through a transformer. So very important for you to hook up this bad boy to ground and have this cable uh, far away from this one over so here. This is something that they don't really mention on the manual, but <laughs> after quite a bit of Quite a bit of installation on this one's realized that problem. So, once again, as you can see on this one, the hot water was installed here. This is because we have a recirculation line and the max temperature we have on this uh, house is 120 degrees. So we didn't really use the, the clear water. As you can see over here, we actually didn't even connect it. We just left it alone. Um, so, <clears throat> Now we go to the installation part of it. These are fairly simple to install, as you can see over here. All you have to do is bring the water connection to the solenoid unit, and they have a nut. Now, this cable, the sensor cable, is connected to this plate, this brass plate over here. It has to be really tight. So. Once you get to this one snug, double check and make sure that this plate is really tight up against it or it will not be working. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's not going to be sensing. 
So after you're done with that, we'll go through the uh, programming process. After you install this guy over here, and you already grounded it, or if you went to the battery operated one, you don't have to do a whole lot, but once you connect to the power, this uh, computer will make a series of beeps. The moment you hear the first beep, you need to stay away, probably about four feet, and let it go through the process. It's gonna do a single beep, it'll drain the water, um, and then it'll do a second, a, a second beep, and it will let water go again, and then a third beep, and it will let go, let go of water again, and then it will have five beeps after that, and at that point, is the, uh, the, the system is already set up, and you should be able to try it. And we're back. So, inside of the control box, it has two dip switches, and what the dip switches do is they control the um, sensitivity of this, uh, this faucet. The faucet's supposed to work or operate at about three and a half inches from the actual unit, you know, as you can see over here. Further than that, you'll be getting a lot of interference, and any closer than that, you'll be watching your hands right here. So, you want to keep it at three and a half, and usually you don't have to touch it after the first uh, after after the first time you install it. But if you're not getting the result you want, then you're going to have to get into the switches. You can look into your manual, and it will tell you how to set them up. Well, thank you very much, and if you have any questions, go to learningconstruction.org. Thank you.